Hello and welcome. I have Sunil with me. Sunil, congratulations. You qualified your net exam in December 2019 in the commerce subject. Aren't you at the top of the world right now? Uh, exactly uh, the same feeling even I have. Thank you so much for that. And I'm really happy that you know you invited me uh, for a talk. And it's my pleasure as well. So thank you so much for an opportunity that you've given to me. Amazing. We are so intrigued to know more about you. Tell us where are you from, where were you born and what are you doing currently? Well, uh, I hail from Bangalore. I born brought up in a, 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 a town called Anikal, which is near to the Bangalore. And uh, currently I'm working as an assistant professor in Krupanidhi groups of institution. And being teacher is one amazing feeling. And you know, that's why most of us will go give an attempt to you know, clear NET. And that's what even I did, but the journey wasn't really uh, no, uh, easy for me. But uh, the end result was really amazing. I'm sure I'm, teaching is a very rewarding job and that's a dream for most people. Uh, because it's like being a doctor, if you're not the doctor, you're not happy. So I think being about a teacher is also the same thing. Until you become one, you can't uh, just stay happy in any other job. So I, I totally agree. relate. I totally you. agree with you. Yes. And uh, tell us more about your journey of preparation. Um, so this was your fourth attempt of giving the exam. So uh, just take us through the journey from your first attempt till your fourth attempt. Well, uh, as I told earlier, the you know way in which I have come to clear this NET wasn't a cakewalk. Uh, probably, you know, when I gave my first attempt, uh, pro I think I did a trial and error because without preparation, I did uh, I did give an attempt, just like any other student who you know who just thinks it's a first attempt. You know, let me give a try and let let us experience the question and then we will try to the next time. But what exactly happened? Yes, first attempt I did not really prepare. Second and third attempt, yes, I did really put my heart and soul into it. But to be frank, I just lost my uh, you know, uh, uh, grades in two marks. So 54.6 was a cutoff, but apparently I got only 54 percentage in my second attempt. Whereas in the third attempt, 60 was a cutoff for me, but I got only 58. You know, like both the attempts, I just lost in somewhere two to three marks. Now. Uh, on the day of my result, like when I failed in the third attempt, I was really down. You know, we all really feel that first attempt is gone, second attempt is gone, third attempt is also gone. You know, what we try to do is we will give up. Okay, this this is not my cup of tea. But if you are a, you are aspiring to become a teacher. You know, a failure is always a, a one step ahead towards the success. So that policy I really followed. Uh, in order to claim the steps, I think human parameters really helped me. So when I when I got my results of the third attempt, you know, I I, I know I was down. Actually, I was down. And then I just I started browsing it. Uh, that's when I got a YouTube uh, video about human parameters. That day immediately you can even still go back and uh, check my orders that I did. It was on the day of my, you know, third attempt results. I ordered human parameters, uh, you know, uh, uh, syllabus, and I just subscribed for all the content that I, uh, you know, took. And uh, to be frank, uh, whatever that I had prepared last two times um, were helped, but to the greater extent, the uh, uh, real time ex pattern which was set up by the human parameters institution and the books that they have given to me each and every book with the updated content whatever that i have you know studied it was really really useful and in knowing the case as well the last time it was uh, you know, unlike previous attempts the pattern has completely been changed now the most of the questions were based on situation now we were not even you know, aware that these kind of a questions might also come. So human directly or indirectly did prepare me to attempt such kind of a questions because the way how they frame the questions 
uh, you know they also provide a new set of questions there will be almost you know 20 new set of questions or question paper which i get so the way how they have uh, you know prepared the content and the explanation that i have given for each of the contents really really you know uh, uh, help me a lot to prepare and i think the most of my you know uh, results whatever that i have if at all if i have cleared it's because of the syllabus and the content covered in the human parentis books and 10% is of course my previous attempts hard work and my preparation as well that's uh, really amazing that you did not give up and you kept trying until you made it and you changed something about your preparation each time you realized what you were lacking and you changed it and my next question is about the subjects uh, commerce is obviously vast and how did you uh, address each subject and which were your tough ones and which were easy for you yes now you know here where we have to plan really well this is what i learned, you know from my experience of the previous attempts now i gave a stipulated time for paper 1 and paper 2 because that are equally important now a uh, paper 1 to be frank whatever the question paper set by the human parentis because you know human parentis has previous question papers as well which are solved plus the fresh set of question papers i only prepared that i only prepared that if at all if i had any confusion probably i would have watched youtubes to understand the concept but you know uh, nevertheless i i used to attend the uh, questions that's how i prepared for paper 1 okay at least in a day i used to spend 3 hours time for paper 1 take a concept you know fix a deadline okay maybe per top so in paper 1 i'm today dealing with uh, you know uh, ict information and communication technology if i'm dealing with that or if i'm choosing a concept called uh, you know higher education in india probably i will fix a deadline for one week with that one week i have to finish whatever the content that are there and start revising how do you revise take up a test if you go wrong of course you know every question has a proper answers okay that's how i used to prepare for a paper 1 but uh, now here we cannot do like how we did for paper 1 you have to be aware about every individual topic uh, say for example when you take business environment you have international business and a basic business environment concept now in international business we have theories there are almost nine theories when you follow the pattern of previous year question papers there will be at least one or two questions from these theories without having a knowledge of these theories probably you may not be able to attend the questions so go through the books okay now everything everything being given in the human parentis books you don't even have to search google at all that way you can reduce your screen time now we all are working on screens our screen time has been increased but when we borrow the i mean when we buy these books what exactly happens is now every important points been highlighted in bold letters so probably there's no such miss important points so now yeah th- that's what i was telling you know uh, every particular aspect in the paper too in my commerce papers you have to know the concept what i used to do is take the toughest topic now for me statistics is one of the you know toughest subject business taxation or or you know corporate taxation or income tax is the toughest you know uh, subject for me what i did was these tough cha- you know chapters usually need you know lot of time as in you you take lot of time to read the concept understand it and to put it in the action so therefore you know pick up these subjects first and learn it throughout and obviously every student will be having their favorite subject for me financial management is very very favorite you uh, know subject management accounting is my heart and soul accounting is my you know uh, one of the favorite subject cost accounting is a very good subject of mine now what i did when i say i i like these subjects meaning i know the concepts probably not give extra time for this subject like how i used to give for a toughest subject like income tax so 
these you know easy subject you can concentrate when you are approaching the exams probably the last two months of the exam okay you probably you know take up the uh, subject read once so if you read once of course you know whatever the questions given you will be able to answer so you know i would suggest at least minimum minimum 6 months preparation is very much needed to clear any exam so accordingly we we have to plan paper 1 and paper 2 it has to go hand in hand you know it's not like i'm very good at subjects let me score more in paper 2 and let me concentrate less on paper one no so you know we have to equally balance both and focus equally on you know paper one and paper two thank you so much i think you highlighted some very important things like start early have six months time in your hand prioritize yes. paper one and paper two also talking about difficult subjects that you can deal it with it later have a read and you can still attempt six Out of ten questions, like sixty percent of the questions that will come from yes. the subject. Yes. So I think you highlighted really good points. And uh, before I conclude, would you like to give one tip to students who are going to prepare, like one mistake that they should avoid, or one uh, formula that you think works? Uh, maybe I think we have to make uh, our own, you know, written notes. Probably, you know, whatever the content that's are still there in the book, still. you have to prepare your own material this will really help for a subject like income tax you know income tax is huge so you know and for that matter even you have accounting standards when it comes to accountancy you have uh, you know uh, formulas when it comes to ratio analysis so what you do is keep a separate book for each of the subject i am stretching you know most of the time human practice book human practice book is because you know you don't have to buy any of the books we we always do the minute we fail in the you know uh, uh, net exam the next thing that we do is browse which is the good you know uh, material for uh, uh, net exam net preparation so i would really suggest this is my you know uh, experience please go for a human practice books okay every well that read it and take the notes so that it will definitely help you to clear it i am pretty sure it will definitely help you thank you so much for speaking with us taking out time and talking with us sunil it was really enlightening and uh, i just uh, can't thank you enough for your time thank you it was pleasure talking to you thank you so much it's my pleasure as well to be here thanks a lot thank you